Okay, so what is it like to take a collapse on a reflex wing? Well, as you saw in that video, that was three full frontals as well as an asymmetrical collapse because I wanted to show you all of them first. So let's talk about the first video. But first, little caveat. The term reflex is, is very broad. That just means the airfoil style. That just means the airfoil style. There's two different, there's air reflex and there's traditional. The term reflex is very broad. There's a lot of different wings from beginnerish wings to advanced wings to slalom wings to cross country wings to every style of wing. Uh, I, leading up until this this video, actually, not this, but taking the collapses, had no idea what it was like to take a collapse under a reflex profile wing. Um, I had heard rumors, I had had thoughts, I didn't know, I had a theory, uh, but I had never really tested it myself. I had never really seen a video of someone taking collapses in a reflex wing or on a reflex wing. So you're welcome to the internet for doing that unintentionally for you all. I just want to say the wing that was used in this video is an Ozone Viper 5. This is their hottest wing that they make. It's a 5.8 aspect ratio, which if you don't know what aspect ratio is, it's how long for how skinny the wing is. First video is three full frontals. I'm talking 100% collapses. The wing went completely bye-bye. It was no longer flying. Um, there's a couple things when we look at a collapse that we want to take into consideration. Number one is how much altitude did we lose? If you look at the video, I didn't drop that much altitude. I didn't go falling out of the sky. I was under 100 feet when I started to take the collapses and I maybe lost like 30 feet of altitude in three full frontals. Number two is did you change direction? If you rewatch the video, I was basically on the same heading that I was. I, I ended the collapses on the same heading that I started the collapses on, which means it did really, really good. Because what you don't want is a wing that drops a bunch of altitude, turns, and dives you straight at the ground. That did not. I, I, I barely dropped any altitude, and I ended on the same heading. And number three is how well did it recover. Uh, due to pilot error, it took those three full frontals. That was my mistake. It should have really only been one, but because I had these uh, Scout Adventure bags that were new to me on the uh, swing arms, I went to hit the brakes, and I hit the bags, and I didn't know to pull the brakes a different way, which is why it led to a couple different frontals. I have to say, for being a 5.8 aspect ratio reflex profile wing, it handled it so freaking well. What that showed me is that these wings are not nearly as dangerous as I had been led to believe. They handle collapse as well. They actually are extremely resistant to collapses too, like the most freaking resistant to collapses things I've ever experienced. I'll get into that a little bit more in the future. Let's talk about the second video. This is me flying through the rotor of Factory Butte and taking a 50% deflation. Did you even see it? No, I barely freaking saw it. It happened so fast that by the time I noticed it was happening, to looking up, it had popped itself out. It wasn't quite out. That's why I caught that I saw that I actually took the collapse. But within about this fast of me looking up, it had already recovered. If I had waited this long to look at it, I would not have seen it. Oh, and by the way, didn't change any direction, didn't lose any altitude, and I didn't even need to do anything. Talk about impressive. That right there is extremely impressive. And I must add that again, this is Ozone's hottest wing. So if you're curious what it's like to take a collapse on a reflex wing, there you go.